So let's just start off by looking at this crazy, weird looking snake. And uh, it's dead, just so you know. It's, <laughs> it's not funny. Hi! Oh. Hi! Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Smash. Smash it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Smash. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. What's funny about a dead snake? You're just so funny. What? I said he gets all nervous and he starts over and over again. <laughs> Was that a nice little nose pick? Yeah. Did he get a good booger? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Get away from me. Okay. Yeah. Now we have one here that Yummy. is weird also. It is alive. And my question for you guys is, what do you guys think? Do you think that you should do everything to try and keep it alive? It, it probably won't make it anyways. If something like this was to survive, I would just give it to someone. I'm a little torn between the two things. Do I, do I try to keep it alive and give it to somebody as a pet? Or do I end its misery if it's... Doesn't seem like it's in a lot of pain, but so in the wild, this animal wouldn't make it for sure. <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> I'm nervous, okay? I'm nervous. This is a sensitive subject. I feel it's probably best to end its, end its misery. There's a whole pile of things that might make it not do well. It doesn't have a nose, so its mouth is left a little bit open. So its teeth are kind of out and its jaw is over its mouth. Uh, so to me, if a snake was kind of born with one eye or little something, like a, maybe a kink or whatever, you could probably still give it a decent life. But when it's like this, it's, it's, it's struggling to survive. So the qu my wife is on the phone. Let's go somewhere quieter. What? So, the piece of Avery's room. Um, you want to keep talking? Oh, I can't concentrate with the wife talking. Some people want to keep everything alive no matter what. You know, it's life, it's precious, everything deserves a chance. But what do you think? Do you think that it's better to try and keep it alive even though it's not going to have the best quality of life? Or would you feed it off to another snake. We have Pearl, I specifically kind of have Pearl for this purpose, that uh, anything that doesn't make it, I just feed to her. But do you think it would be cruel to feed the snake to Pearl? Or do you think that's just okay? For me, I'm not really sure. I, 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 part of me wants to just say, you know what? Misery's over, nothing's, nothing's gonna be like, instead of spending days trying to maybe keep her alive if she, or if he or she's not going to make it then it seems kind of pointless it's probably better to just feed it off or just you know kill it myself quickly and then feed it off or try and keep it alive even though it's life might not be the best uh so i don't know tell me tell me what you think in the comments below and now let's uh take a look at the rest of the litter Welcome back everyone. I was gonna do a different video today, but no Sahara gave oh, birth, that's... so that's what's gonna take priority. Oh yeah, I should put some clothes on. <laughs> I am here in my underwear. Okay, so welcome back. Sahara's done it again. We're gonna just remove this. I kind of want to just take her and rinse her. Most of my snakes are pretty good, even right after giving birth. 
they don't really get nippy or anything. They are a little bit scared. So I'm just gentle. Let her know, you know, everything's okay. I'm just gonna take her and wash her. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll be right back. She, yeah, she's doing good. Had a nice little rinse. Sahara, like all my snakes are sweethearts. She is one of my most like just gentle, wonderful snakes. So her babies are all gonna be really nice too. They're uh, good for those on a budget. Mm -hmm. nicely developed the ones that have come out we don't we don't have big sacks on them so that's nice so we got one we got one albino babies 11, 12 slugs about half and half that's kind of sad <laughs> be back after I rinse them to show you so let's start off with the crazy weird looking snake So the pairing was a uh, POA to Sahara. We have uh, a lot of normals, which is pretty surprising. POA is an anery het albino and Sahara is a hypo het albino. So the odds were pretty bad. We only got one albino, one hypo, and a whole pile of normals. So these normals are 100% het anery and 66% het for albino. So I've never had a litter with this few albinos. So a little disappointing, but these are still beautiful looking normals. And these will be my most reasonably priced snakes of the year. So if you're in Canada and you've been waiting for something uh, just nice, simple, and affordable, these are the snakes for you. you get a boa whether you get something that's all fancy colored or like this you're getting the same animal you're just basically paying the price for genetics or like colors like you see some nice colors or whatever I am in a I just got a gimbal so I'm just trying to figure out how to use it slowly get some cooler footage and my wife and daughter are making a pile of noise so I'm a little out of it, I'm sorry. Here is our one hypo. They look a little shriveled when uh, they first come out sometimes. 
that's not totally normal just in case you were wondering and now last but not least our wonderful little albino Probably the uh, animal that I would have liked to feature more, but everybody likes to see the weird crazy stuff, so I decided to start off by giving you what you want, so. Hope you guys are all staying safe, having fun, and have a good week. Yeah, that was wonderful, wasn't it? Now make sure you click circle. Yeah, click the circle. Yeah, me too. And then watch this video or this one. No. Yeah? No. Yes, it's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one or is it this one?